So here we are in our Unity project and we will go inside our shader dev folder. We will select word nm flag shader. We will duplicate it. Rename it as word nm normal because we will be animating the vertices based on the normal information. So this has opened the vertex nm normal shader. First thing that we want to do is to rename our shader. Word nm normal. Second thing that we want to do here is when we read the attribute from the mesh, so far we have been reading position and texture coordinate. In this shader, we will read one more attribute which will be called as normal and it will be of type normal as well. So in the vertex input structure, we have defined normal. We will start reading the normals from the mesh. Second thing we will do is we will create a duplicate copy of word flag nm function that we created to animate the flag vertex. And we will call it vertex nm normal. In our previous shader, we were using vertex flag nm function to modify the vertex position. In this shader, we will use vertex nm normal and because we want to use the vertex normal value we will pass vertex normal to this function so v dot normal will be passed to this function and because we have passed it we want to receive it in our function as well it will be a float for value and we will call it as word normal so we have passed our vertex normal to the function and based on which we will modify the position of the vertex. For the flag animation, we were modifying z-axis based on uv coordinate x. But when we talk about the vertex normal, it's a x, y, z, w value. x, y, z are relevant for us because we want to reflect it to vertex position x, y, z. So instead of using a float one value, which is uv dot x and modifying another float one value, we will this time take a float four value and replace it with uv dot x in both the places in the equation and we will modify the vertex position. So what this equation becomes equivalent to, if I copy this complete equation, and paste it here, single equation is equivalent to vertex position dot x is equals to vertex position dot x plus vertex normal dot x, vertex normal dot x. And to simplify this, we can just use plus equals to. I will copy and paste it two more times and I will change it to y and z this time and same I will do for normal. So this one line is equivalent to three different lines. So we missed one more thing which is not very relevant for our case is x y z w so now we understand the equation instead of the uv x coordinate we will modify the position of our vertex based on the vertex normal and vertex normal based on the direction of normal will contain certain x y and z value so let's save the shader and test what happens in unity to test our new shader, I have created a scene inside the scenes folder, chapter 10, vertex normal nm underscore jellyfish. In this scene, I have created a hood of the jellyfish and eight different tentacles which are duplicate copies of each other. 
and for these eight different duplicate copies I have created eight different materials so that I can modify the properties separately and then we have a hood to which we will apply our newly created shader so I select the hood and in the material